Welcome back to the channel and to another WNBA video. We got game four action coming our way Sunday, October 6th. And I found four plays that I like between those two games that we're going to break down and analyze. But before we do, let's dive into what we took on Friday for game three's action and how that ended up going down. Didn't go down the best, man. We have our first losing night of the postseason, finishing at one and two. So we took Kayla McBride under 17 and a half points plus assists. We lose that one on the hook. She lands at 18. Then we took the Liberty on the money line, got it at plus money, felt real good about that, man. I was like, man, they're going to come out here and finish this thing off. You know, get that sweet revenge with a sweep on Vegas's home court through the first half. Looked like this one might be a thing, man. Like, they might get this. They might got it. Come out completely flat in that third quarter and just get whooped, man. So we lose that one, and we lose that one convincingly, right? Uh, then we took John Quill Jones under 14 and a half points, and we do cash on that one to finish one and two, like I said. First losing night of the postseason, but man, we can't get too down, man. It's been a great run to start this one off. Still sitting at 15 and six uh, overall through this postseason run so far. So let's get back on the right side of things here. Let's get back on that winning track. Uh, but before we dive into those, man, one more thing. Make sure you smash that like button down below for me and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and dive into the first prop for today. So we'll go ahead and jump over here to Outlier. We're looking at Asia Wilson of the Aces. Her points and rebounds under 34 and a half. If we look over here, we can get this at FanDuel for minus 112. Now look at this, guys, the uh, the Liberty for points and rebounds. Their defense overall sitting at third for points allowed, second for rebounds allowed, but specifically against centers, first in both categories. So already looking good here. And if we jump down here, looking at Asia in her last five games, she has hit under this mark. Uh, four of the last five, that one hit over at 37 for combined points and rebounds was against the uh, the Storm in that closeout game against them in the first round. Uh, but look at her against the Liberty here. Through three games of this series, she has come under that line, right? If we look at her in her last 10, she has still come over the, or under that line in seven of the last 10 for a hit rate of 70%. So we like that a lot. Look at this insight from Outlier. Now, we see that she has hit under this mark in five of her last six games against teams that sit in the top five for defense for points allowed. Um, once again, hitting at an 83% hit rate to the under. All right, so another good look there. And if we look at her head-to-head -head against the Liberty, still 12 out of the last 17 times that she's played the Liberty, she has hit at a 71% rate, averaging just under 30 points plus rebounds per game. And then look at her this year specifically. Um, you know, we're cashing under this mark four out of the five times that they've played on the year. The next up, I'm going to be looking at Courtney Williams of the Lynx. I'm looking at her points and assists over 17 and a half. And we can get this one right now at bet 365 for the best price of minus 110. Now, if we look at the sun, man, it, you know, their defense, these rankings are always scary. Anytime you're fading that sun defense, they are first for points allowed and assists allowed uh, against that guard position. First overall, right, for points allowed and second overall for assists allowed. Okay, but if we look at Courtney Williams head-to-head -head against the Sun, we see a good bit of green down there. That's what we want to see, right? And if we look at her specifically this year, one, two, three, four, five out of the six times that they played on the year, she has hit over this mark. So I definitely like that there, guys. If we look at this inside from Outlier, she has exceeded this mark in five of her last six games on the road. So another positive there for us. Um, and if we look at her in her last 10 games, uh, you know, there's that stretch in the middle there where she is coming under this mark, right? You know, the first couple games of the playoffs against the Mercury, she just just lands under this mark, landing on the hook at 17. Um, and then that game one against the Sun where the, um, you know, the Lynx do end up losing. But, you know, cleared this mark in game two, cleared it by a mile in game three. Um, still hitting at a 60% rate in her last 10 overall. Uh, Courtney Williams is just, you know, she's cashed a lot. Uh, for us over the season as well so I, you know i don't feel any kind of way any kind of hesitation looking her way i'm um, on any kind of player props really uh, when it comes to the you know the points and assists even points plus rebounds um the combination of all three of them you know she has consistently hit on the over for us so definitely like this one here i do wish though you know with that said i do it was sitting at 16 and a half earlier and i uh you know i've been busy throughout the day that's kind of why we're doing a shortened uh, more condensed version of the WNBA video today because I got to do an NFL video as well. Just been busy as hell all day, but I saw it at 16 and a half points plus assists earlier today, man. I, just, I so wish I would have jumped on that because that just feels like an easy lock, right? 
Uh, but I do still like it at 17 and a half as well, especially at minus 110, like I said, on Bet365. Guys, before we jump into the next prop, I did want to jump over here to the Guy Boston Sports merchandise shop, the Fade Me store. Make sure you check it out, man. We got this new football season collection that rolled out just before the football season. The Fade Me with the stiff arm, man, that is sick, especially in the black. And that's the cool thing, too. All these shirts, you can get them in different colors. Uh, if you click into it here, you can see, you know, we got this Fade Me football tee here in the black, the red. The true navy got a violet option as well so a lot of different ways that you can get each of these styles of shirts right and then you know it's not just all football man I got my favorite one here the scared money don't make money i love this gambler collection as well man it's kind of one of those things like you know not everybody's gonna know what that is right but if you know you know man and it's kind of cool right got the hats as well so a lot of different options over here make sure you guys jump over here to check it out another one that's really nice you'll see me rocking this one from time to time as well and that's the thing too man the quality of these clothes is it's top notch the next up i'm looking at marina mabry of the sun looking at her points rebounds and assists and i'm faded marina mabry man which is always scary to do always scary but look the Lynx have played her tough. We look at this series, right? She did get over this number in that game one victory. So far, though, since then, man, she has come under this mark. Now, she did come under on the hook there in game three. Uh, but she has not shot the ball particularly well in this series after lighting it up there in the first round. Um, you know, if we look at the Lynx against guards, uh, second in points allowed, they do sit at ninth for rebounds allowed and first for assist allowed so two out of three man we're looking at them in the top two um so head to head though that's where i really like this one man you know like like i said in the last five you know obviously she had a great first round against the fever uh, if you push it back even further into the last 10 there's a lot more red than green right so it's definitely scary and like i said it's always scary the fade marina mabry um or anytime that there's points involved especially but um, look at her head-to-head -head against the Lynx, man. In her last eight games, she has only gone over this mark one time. That's that game one victory. Um, so that's the thing right there that I really like. Like I said, you know, we're not necessarily – I'm not necessarily fading Marina Mabry as much as I'm backing this Lynx defense and her struggles against them that, you know, we have obviously seen um, for the last eight games that they've played together. We've seen it at a, you know, 88% rate. So – um, obviously a lot of green down here. That's what's kind of leading me to this one here. But like I said, man, it is always scary to fade Marina Mabry, but at minus 112, I do think it's worth a look. I'm looking at Bridget Carlton of the Lynx, looking at her points over nine and a half. We can get this on prize picks, but we can also find this on FanDuel at minus 120. Um, you know, it is a little bit juice, but she has hit this at an 80% rate in her last five games, hitting four out of the last five. Um, and we push it back to her last 10. She's still hitting at a 70% rate. You can go back even further to her last 20. We're still sitting in the green at 65%. 13 of the last 20 games, she has hit over this nine and a half point mark. And, you know, she's been hot in the playoffs. You know, we're looking right here. That's where the playoffs start against the Mercury 12, 12, 17. And then one time that she comes under this mark, she comes under it right on the hook at nine points, right? Now, once again, any of these links props that we're looking at with the over involved. That means that we're fading this Connecticut defense, right? So that's where it does get a little bit scary, guys. Against forwards, they do sit at first for points allowed, first overall. So there's definitely that to keep in mind. But the rest of these numbers down here, they definitely look pretty appealing, right? And even head-to-head, -head, okay, she's hit at a 38% rate five of the 13 times. But those five are much more recent than, you know, these five right here, or six, actually, that she came under the mark, right? If we take those out of the equation, that's all from last year then bam, all of a sudden we're looking a lot better. Five out of the last seven times she has hit over this mark. So definitely a you know a high success rate over the sun here recently. I do like Bridget Carlton to get her chances and get her looks here, and I like her to be able to get into double digits. We just need her to hit 10 points. So another one here, that's the fourth pick, Bridget Carlton, her points over nine and a half. Guys, that's going to wrap it up here. Now, I know a few of you are going to be like, which way you're leaning? How come you didn't talk about which way you're leaning as far as the points and the spread, you know, things like that. I'm going to give you real quick what I'm leaning here. I just did not have time to really look into these games and break them down and analyze them the way that I normally would. Um, but I am leaning the Liberty to close this one out. And then I am leaning the Lynx to close this one out as well, guys. Um, I think that the Sun, you know, I think that they match up well with Minnesota. I just think that Minnesota has more depth and that has shown through so far. Um, and they're just more in sync offensively. And both of these teams play a great brand of defense, right? Both teams are getting stops. Minnesota's just able to get, you know, 
and they're able to keep up with that Connecticut defense, but they're also able to get some buckets in the process as well. And I think that's where Connecticut has really struggled um, and kind of met their match here with Minnesota. Um, we would have asked me at the beginning of the series, man, and I even said it in, one, in a couple of the videos, I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, I thought Connecticut had a good chance to pull this one out. But judging off these last two games, man, um, I do think that Minnesota will be able to close this one out. Um, and if not, I still like taking them with the points, um, no matter what, you know, if, if Connecticut wins, it's going to be a damn close game and they're gonna have to pull this one out by, you know, the edge of their seat. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Like it's going to be a close one. So, uh, yeah, you know, leaning, leaning Minnesota, leaning New York. Um, and so I'm not touching the totals. I'm not touching the totals. I'm not even going to give a lean, man. Cause I've been completely off on those throughout the course of this series. Um, so that one I'm not touching. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. And if you did and you found it helpful and useful, please do not forget to smash that like button down below and hit subscribe if you have not already. That way you don't miss out on any of the content that we're dropping here daily. And I hope you guys have a great day. I hope we cash out and I will see you on the next video.